let us discuss partially miscible liquids partially miscible liquids means the liquids which are not completely miscible for example if we mix ether and water and uh, phenol and water etc these liquids will not miscible each other they are only partially miscible that is their miscibility is very less most of the organic solvents are partially miscible in water if we mix ether and water or phenol water or triethylamine water etc they will form two layers so imagine we are going to mix two partially miscible liquids a and b so if we mix these partially miscible liquids they will form two layers one of the layer is a saturated in b and the next layer will be saturated solution of b in a saturated solution of b in a partially miscible liquids mixed together they will form two layers one of the layer is saturated solution of a in b and the next one is saturated solution of b in a for example if we mix ether and water one of the layer will be saturated solution of ether in water and the next layer will be the saturated solution of water in ether that is they'll form two saturated layers saturated solutions and these two saturated solutions are known as conjugate solutions conjugate solutions and the miscibility of these two liquids always depends the temperature of the system at a particular temperature partially miscible liquids becomes completely miscible and that temperature is known as critical solution temperature or cst we can also call it as consolute temperature so we can define critical solution temperature cst or consolute temperature as the temperature at which two partially miscible liquids two partially miscible liquids becomes completely miscible or the temperature at which two partially miscible layers merge each other and form a single layer if we classify the binary liquids based on the critical solution temperature or based on the nature of the critical solution temperature we can classify them into three different types the first one is binary liquids having upper cst the next one is partially miscible liquids having lower cst and the third one is binary liquids having both upper cst and the lower cst examples are the binary liquids having upper cst are phenol water system then methanol cyclohexane system etc then binary liquids having lower cst are triethylamine water system 
ट्रईमीन वाटर सिस्टम डईमीन वाटर सिस्टम etc and the third one is the binary liquids having both upper cst and the lower cst the best example is nicotine water system okay let's explain the binary liquids having upper cst or partially miscible liquids having upper cst here miscibility increases with the miscibility increases with the increasing temperature or we can say partially miscible liquids becomes miscible at a particular temperature or above a particular temperature and that particular temperature is known as upper cst the best example is phenol water system so if we mix equal amount of phenol and water they'll form two conjugate solutions and uh, one of the layer one of the solution is phenol saturated phenol in water and the next one is saturated water solution in phenol okay so when we increase temperature when we heat this miscible liquid its miscibility increases so i'm going to mark the miscibility temperature here in y axis and the percentage of phenol in x axis so when temperature increases the miscibility temperature the miscibility of the liquid increases increases then at a particular point i'll get completely miscible liquid if i cool the mixture cool the solution then they will again converted into partially miscible substance so the temperature at which these two liquids binary liquid becomes completely miscible is known as cst here for phenol water system it is about 68.1 degree celsius that is at 68.1 degree or above 68.1 degree this phenol water system exists as a miscible substance or it exists as a homogeneous solution then next one is lower cst binary liquids so here the partially miscible liquids becomes completely soluble becomes completely miscible below a particular temperature below or at a particular temperature so lower cst means partially miscible liquids becomes completely miscible or becomes homogeneous solution at or below a particular temperature and that particular temperature is known as lower cst of the partially miscible solutions so a best example is triethylamine water system so here i'm going to draw the miscibility curve so here i'm going to draw the percentage of trimethylamine and uh, miscibility temperature is marked in y axis first of all these liquids exist as partially miscible liquids but when temperature decreases their miscibility increases so at a particular temperature 
these two liquids become completely soluble. So at this temperature, trimethyl amine and water are completely soluble and the lower CST value of trimethyl amine water is about 18.5 degrees Celsius. And then if we increase the temperature, they'll again become partially miscible liquids. So here for trimethyl amine water system, the lower CST value is 18.5. That is trimethyl amine and water becomes completely soluble or become homogeneous at 18.5 or below 18.5. That is outside the curve, these liquids exist as homogeneous solution. Homogeneous. Okay. The last one is. Binary liquids or partially miscible liquids having both upper and lower CST. Here we can say the partially miscible liquids exist as completely miscible liquids or exist as a single layer at or above upper CST and at or below lower CST. Here the best example is nicotine water system. So nicotine water system will exist as two saturated solution that is two conjugate solution. So when temperature in so when temperature increases and uh, at a particular temperature, these two layers becomes a homogeneous layer. That is, these two layers become a single layer. And uh, we can call this as upper CST. And uh, same, and uh, above this temperature, this partially miscible liquid exists as a homogeneous solution. And if we cool this partially miscible liquid having two conjugate solution, then at a particular temperature, this become completely miscible. And below this temperature also, this exists as homogeneous solution, lower CST. So, that means if we draw the Miscibility temperature percentage composition curve will get a graph like this. So the graph obtained will be a closed graph that is here percentage composition percentage of nicotine and percentage of nicotine and here miscibility temperature so, first of all, it exists as partially miscible liquid. Then if we lower the temperature, its miscibility increases. And at a particular temperature, that is at lower CST value, this become miscible. Okay. And again, if we increase the temperature, they will again converted into partially miscible liquid. And... Uh, at a particular temperature, it again becomes completely miscible liquid. That is at a upper CST. Then if we lower the temperature, again it will be converted back into partially miscible liquid. So the upper CST of nicotine water system is about 208 degrees Celsius. And the lower CST value of nicotine water is about 61 degree Celsius. That means in between 208 and 61 degree Celsius, it exists as partially miscible. The nicotine water system exists as partially miscible liquids. And at 208 and above 208 and at 61 degree and below 61 degree, this nicotine water system exists as completely miscible liquids. 
So now we have to know is there any other factor which influence the critical solution temperature of binary liquids. An important factor which influence the critical solution temperature is the presence of impurity in this partially miscible liquids. So the presence of impurity either increase CST or decrease CST. That is, if the impurity is soluble in only one liquid of the binary system, so impurity is soluble in only one liquid, then their solubility, that is the solubility of these two liquids decreases. So that means for upper CST, the value will be raised and for lower CST, the value again lowers. For example, if we add sodium chloride into phenol water system, Sodium chloride is only soluble in water. It is insoluble in phenol. So that means the addition of NaCl into phenol water system decreases its miscibility. So the CST value of phenol water system initially it was 68.1 and uh, when we add sodium chloride it is increased by 12 degrees Celsius. That is, it is increases to a value 80.1 degree Celsius. On the other hand, if the impurity is soluble in both the liquids, then for upper CST, the value decreases. And for lower CST, value increases. For example, if we add sodium oleate into phenol water system, sodium oleate, sodium oleate is soluble in both phenol and the water. That means if the impurity, if the adding impurity is soluble in both the liquids, then their miscibility increases. So we have to provide only a little bit amount of heat energy to completely mix these two liquids. So its miscibility temperature, critical solution temperature reduced to a value 43.7 degree Celsius. And here y-axis temperature miscibility temperature and in x-axis it is percentage composition of phenol so this is all about the partially miscible liquid system cst and the factors influencing cst